I've finally done it. I'll admit it, it's been a long time, almost an entire year, but it's time to remake my favorite Bleach character, Ichigo Kurosaki, the main protagonist of the Bleach series, Shatter Kyoku Soigetsu. Since the beginning, it was simply a part of my plan, and you fell for it, every step of the way. What's up guys, it's Punchy, and I'll be recreating one of the most memorable anime villains of all time, and one of my personal favorites. If you haven't caught up with Bleach, you know, it's been a few years, but spoilers for everything before the Thousand Year Blood War arc, I'm not going to be talking about that. Let's begin. Lord Aizen, the charismatic mastermind, the ultimate villain of Bleach, and finally, the dictionary definition of evil. He does not care about you, your friends, or anything else, you're just a pawn on the battlefield. Introducing Sosuke Aizen, the previous captain of the Gote 13's 5th Division, and currently the most demon time villain in all Bleach history. Using his genius intellect, Aizen switched up on everybody in pursuit of power, but it's undeniable he obtained that strength. Aizen has a ton of different forms, but I'll be focusing on his abilities before he ascended into God. Hood. Way, way back, when things were much simpler, back to when Ichigo's strongest ability was still his Bankai. During the invasion of Soul Society, we, the viewer, were introduced to Sosuke Aizen. Using his Shikai alone, Aizen faked his own death, played the entire Gotei 13, and became untouchable. This master manipulator harnesses the power of illusion and made everyone in the series question their own reality. But for me, that's not a problem. As they say, real no real, and I, the real punchy, have become the king of Hueco Mundo. In a previous episode, I wander the desert until I saw this skeleton looking guy, but now I've been promoted. That's cool, but it's not better than making videos. If you enjoy my content, please show your support and subscribe to the channel so you too can obtain godhood. Jokes aside, I love doing these character builds and I hope you like watching them too. That being said, I'll be stuck ruling over Hueco Mundo. Anyway, in Deep Oaken, I recreated Sosuke Aizen as a brown haired Etrian. Aizen is a backstabber and he's the biggest snake, not talking about that one, in Bleach history, so it only makes sense for him to be Etrian. Our hair is almost perfect, replicating his slick background hair from his appearance in Hueco Mundo. It was tough to reach that dark brown color, but I'm satisfied with the results. Aizen's appearance in both Soul Society and Hueco Mundo is basically the same, and as a squad captain, he wore a white cloak with a black robe, and later on, he wore a white cloak with a white robe, and you can honestly do whatever, but I chose the white pale assassin cloak and the cloak of winds to adapt to his black and white color scheme. Of course, you'll notice that I chose Vision Shaper in honor of Aizen's illusion techniques, so let's get right into that. My weapon of choice was a Curse of Unbidden Shattered Katana. Aizen Zanpakuto is named Kyoku Soigetsu, and that's all about crumbling away one sanity. Kyoku Soigetsu's ability revolves around the concept of hypnosis. Everything you sense is 100% controlled by Aizen's Shikai ability, which is an unbreakable spell. Using Unbidden was my first step to becoming Aizen because we negate all damage and counter our enemy. They're stunned and confused because no, in reality, we never got hurt, it was just an illusion. Another upside to Unbidden is the ether drain on hit. In Bleach, Aizen possesses an ungodly amount of Ryatsu or Spirit pressure which cancels out enemy techniques. If you aren't at his level, you're wasting that energy as he drains it away. My final stats are perfect, just like Aizen, but they started off a little bit weird. At one point in the series, Aizen was weak and had an incomplete soul. By hitting the Shrine of Order, we went through a transformation just like Aizen and the Hogyoku evolving even further. Let's check out Aizen's techniques. Using his illusionary Shikai, Kyoku Soigetsu, Aizen infiltrated the Gotei 13 bit by bit. First, he planted the seeds, then did some trolling. Kyoku Soigetsu allows Aizen to capture his targets with absolute hypnosis. Every sense is within his grasp as he twists and torments reality. The first application of Kyoku Suigetsu was pulled off using Illusory Counter. With this technique, our target falls under our spell. False damage reflects to our enemy as we teleport behind them and strike. To be more specific, Kyoku Suigetsu is Aizen's Pakdo, but his primary sword technique is called Kanzen Simon. Throughout the series, there are times where Aizen fakes his own death, pretends to be hurt, and completely manipulates the battlefield. He makes use of this advantage and attacks from the shadows. Another one of our counters, Prediction reverses all techniques and slams them back into the enemy. This mantra is the perfect solution to multi-hit attacks. Sosuke Aizen deserves to be smug because he's certain that his opposition cannot fight back. They're under an unbreakable spell, Hypnosis. Using the ability to create perfect illusion, others become enslaved to this dreamlike state. Nothing is true within absolute hypnosis. The final counter in our arsenal is of course Punishment. We absorb all attacks, rendering them useless, then we throw them back. In total, we have four counters for Kyoku Suigetsu. The first is Unbidden's counter, the second is Illusory counter, the next is Prediction, and the final being Punishment. If you couldn't tell already, I think mind games are integral to Aizen's character. You might think this hallucination, created by Kyoku Suigetsu, is Aizen's strongest ability, but when you take it away, that's when it becomes scary. Kyoku Suigetsu, Shatter, breaks this illusion and the truth is finally revealed. With a single sword slash, reality comes into focus and everything ends. Shadebringer comes out of nowhere and 
breaks the pattern we have conditioned our enemies into believing. When our target thinks that we'll counter, shatter, and bring forth Shadebringer. On hit, we also teleport because since the beginning, that was always our plan. Despite being a master of illusion, Aizen's proficiency can also be found in his swordsmanship. Harnessing the power of his Shunpo Slash, Aizen warps towards his enemy and cuts them down. Why do you step back as if I couldn't reach you in a second? Prominent Straw allowed us to close the gap and apply pressure from range. It's useless to run away from a technique like this. All this time, Aizen has been holding back, but at full power, he becomes unstoppable. With Aizen's mastery of the Aikido techniques, he uses Hado 90 Kurohitsugi. This black coffin of death seals anything within and casts it into pure darkness. To replicate black coffin, it's only natural to pick up Shadow Vortex. Anything inside our radius gets thrown into despair. I touched on this earlier, but Aizen's passive spiritual pressure deletes anything weaker than him. His Conqueror's Hockey weighs down the enemy and puts them in their place, which is obviously below him. My Bell, Domain Expansion, Gravity Field was the optimal pick for Aizen's spiritual pressure. Anything in his presence is stunned by his pure will to conquer. Inside our gravity field, we slow our enemy to a crawl so they cannot escape our grasp. And Aizen's final ability, well, it's a little bit of a spoiler, but he does say, Welcome to my soul society. That's what Aizen says because he knows everything revolves around him. Using Illusory Realm, we welcome our enemy into our very own soul society. Finally, check out my full talent list. Now, here are some fights from Aizen, our favorite evil mastermind. That's all for now, and thank you guys so much for watching. I love recreating Bleach characters, and I've made a ton in the past, so please check those out. Comment down below which character I should do next, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one, and it's punching time.